Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your current printer is unavailable and to select another printer in Excel. So if you're coming across this issue specifically when you're trying to print a spreadsheet out in Microsoft Excel, this tutorial will be for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes by left clicking on it one time. Before you proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. And in order to do that, it's quite simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left and then left click on export. Say the file name is something easily identifiable, so usually the date in which you're making the backup and then just the word backup after that is usually what I would suggest. Save it to a convenient location on your computer or movable media device like a flash drive or a CD or whatnot, doesn't really matter to me. And export range should be selected to all. And once you're done with that, if you ever need to import it back in, just would do file import and navigate over to the file location. So very simple. So once you've made your backup, now you want to go ahead and start by expanding the HKEY Current User folder. So either double click on HKEY Current User or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing now for Microsoft. Please keep in mind you can see my path up at the top of the screen here as we're going through this. So we've already expanded Microsoft and now if we go down to Windows NT, you want to expand that one as well. Now should be a current version folder in here, so just go ahead and do the exact same thing we were already doing, so expand that one as well. Now underneath current version, there should be something that says Windows, right here. And you want to go ahead and select Permissions, so right click on the Windows folder and then select Permissions. Should get a little pop-up window here at this point. And what you want to go and do is select whatever user account you're using. So let's just say I'm using my MD Tech account and we want to allow all permissions here. So just make sure you check mark the box that says full control if it's not already checked and then select apply and OK. It was already check marked for me, so just keep that in mind. We're going to click on OK. And you also have the ability to select it for everybody. So right clicking on it and then permissions. You could also click this add button right here and then just type in whatever account name of the person you want to add in here. So if you have any other accounts, just feel free to add it in. And then select check names and that'll actually give you a, for a more full computerized name a bit. So it might have a few extra characters in there. So I would suggest selecting check names after you've typed in your user account, just to make sure it'll be able to actually identify whatever account you just type in here. And then once you've done that, go select OK. So pretty straightforward guys. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.